here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today I have a little lesson for you on how you could take maybe some exercises that you've already been doing and turn them into an endless well of licks. This is really going to help the practicing guitarist because, you know, I'm not really a big fan of doing lots and lots of exercises just for exercise's sake. Because, you know, you can't play those exercises when you're jamming. You want to take the exercises and, sure, work them up to work the finger dexterity and the strength and whatnot. Like if you're doing, like, the straight finger exercises, there's value in that. But for a lot of these exercises, like we'll talk about today, you could easily take them and make them musical, right? Turn them into licks. And they're great because you could use them with any scale you're working on, in any key. And you have an endless well that you could look into for different lick ideas and different uh, melody ideas. And we're in standard tuning today. Go ahead and tune your guitar's standard A440 tuning, low to high, E, A, D. G, B, and E. If you could do me a huge favor and please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content. As well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Please leave a comment below. You know, let, let us know how you like this lesson and what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it. And thank you so much for your support. So you all probably know about playing scales in thirds and in fours and in skipping thirds. So staying in the key of E minor, um, and we'll use this scale for these examples, the E natural minor scale off of seventh fret A string root. So a lot of the common exercises are like scales where you play them in thirds, where you play three notes of the scale, then back up a note, then play the next three notes, you know, like... Right? Or maybe you do that same thing, but you do it in fours, where you play four notes, and then go back a note, then the next... And so on and so forth, up the scale. Or maybe where you're skipping thirds, where you're playing a note, skipping down a third, going back to the previous note, then going up another third. And you can do any of these ascending or descending. And so on and so forth. And those are really great exercises because it really gives you not only command of the scale, but also they build the finger dexterity and put a brain in each finger. So they have value in themselves just doing them. But a lot of times what happens is students get really good at those, and then but they don't do anything with them and making them musical. See, I wouldn't play an exercise like that all the way up and down the neck when I'm playing a lead or when I'm jamming, just like... <laughs> That's not music, that's just notes, right? You have to take those notes, take the scale and build licks. You have to take those notes and work them, do musical things with those notes, right? With with adding your bends and your slides and, you know, attaching them to other notes and working the notes and being expressive and, right? And that's when you start making music, not just playing the notes of a scale or playing an exercise. And a lot of students, like I've had students that come for lessons and then they could play a lot of those exercises, but then when I say, well, let me hear that in a musical context, and they, they really don't know how to do anything with it. So you want to make sure when you're doing exercises like this, not only are you doing them to get good at, you know, the, the technique, but also how to make it musical. And an easy way that you can make those musical is just play like three strings of the exercise or two strings of it. Just take a fragment, a piece of it, and then connect it with part of the scale, but in a lick type way, uh, using a bend or a slide or something. For instance, like let's say if you take this, and we'll stay right in this E natural minor, but this works with any scale in any key and any one of these exercises that you're using. Pick a lick. Okay, we're just using that half step bend. That's the lick and I wanna end on my E note. 
because we're in e, e natural minor, right? Okay, so take that scale in thirds. And you work it down to where you start that lick and then add the lick in, right? And do it slow at first. Now here's my lick. See, now we're making music. We're not just playing this whole up and down you know, a scale or up and down an arpeggio on its own. That's not musical, right? It's not melodic. Um, and you could do it with anyone. Like, let's like, take those scales in thirds. Right? Or fours. Right? And now I'm adding my bends, vibrato, slides, vibrato and I'm taking the notes and I'm working them. And that's how you make this musical. And you could even do it like... as quick bursts of flash, of really something fast. Okay, so what I did there was I took a fragment of in fours. Of... But when I got up to the top with my pinky on that D note, 10th fret, I slid to the 12, slid to the 14th, and add in another lick in E natural minor up here, you know? Right, but then when you speed that... You start getting into some cool sounds. Jam tracks are just an invaluable tool. You really want to apply what you're learning in a musical situation. The track I'm using in this lesson, I'll tell you what, I'll send you that track and five more. I also will send you two eBooks. In one of the eBooks, I take each track and I break it down one at a time. And I go over all the chords in the track. I go over soloing strategies to consider for each track, what scales work, why they work. And in the other eBook, I diagram out all the scales so you see them on paper. It's an awesome practice tool. I'll send it to you for free. Six jam tracks, two ebooks, just click on that link below. And again, you want to move this in different positions. So let's say you take this E natural minor scale off of the 12th fret low E string root. Same thing, take a piece of it maybe. That time I did the scale in thirds, skipping thirds. Did a trill on that B string. And got back to my root note on E here, 14th fret on the D string. So the key is, remember, take a fragment of an exercise and then attach it to a lick. And I'm showing you this with your exercises uh, that many people do with their scales in thirds, in fourths, skipping thirds. But you could even do it, you know, like with a hammer exercise where you're just hammering. Take just two strings of the scale and hammers. And then add a legato lick. Right? And we're back to our slide like there. But what I'm doing there is I'm doing the hammer. See, I wouldn't just hammer notes up and down the scale. Right? You're going to take that and make it musical, but I could throw in a little piece of it. Even repeat it. And then I did this. Legato pattern. But worked it into the scale. There's my half step. There's my skipping thirds. There's my thirds into the lick, right? There's my fourths back into the into the uh, uh, root note, right? So there's just so much you can do, and this opens up the fretboard. You know, all positions, all scales, but it takes your exercises, which you already might have in your arsenal and it's an easy way to make things musical. So give these a try when you're working on your scales in thirds or scales in fourths or skipping thirds and you know really work up the musical ideas and um, use this as a springboard for creativity. Come up with endless amount of licks where you're taking these little fragments of those exercises and making them musical, right? Enjoy it, hope you like it. Uh, don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons up. And to get six killer jam tracks 
and two coinciding ebooks to use as a practice tool really help you along your guitar journey just click on that link below in the youtube description box send them both to you for free and if you want to hear some examples of this and some songs i recently dropped a new record with my original band mind cell based out of san diego california uh, i think it's a slamming record i'm really excited about it i think it's some of the best music i've ever written love for you to check it out it's streaming on all the platforms i'll put links to that in the youtube description box also Check it out, and, and hey, if you have any questions on the songs or the techniques or questions on the gear I use, the studio recording techniques, you know, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching this lesson and for your support over the years and years. So appreciated. Stay tuned. I got tons more killer lessons and content coming up. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on, and I will see you in the next lesson. Oh.